Hello everyone, let's talk about this hidden gem, Labyrinth of Refrain, Coven of Dusk. It is a Yogi RPG first person to young crawler, developed by Nipponichi. On that front, I would recommend this game for those who haven't played a dungeon crawler of this nature, because this video game is an excellent first step if you want to give the genre a try. If you enjoy stories, this game has an excellent story, likable characters, really good soundtrack, excellent art, and tons of dungeons. Now, here is the word of advice. The problem with this genre is that these kind of video games become repetitive as heck. If sometimes an RPG becomes repetitive, for some reason first-person dungeon crawlers go a step beyond. In other words, this genre is really niche, but if you want to give it a try, go for it. Labyrinth of Refrain is like your classic old-school JRPG, where the story revolves around Ronia and Luca, two witches who visit Refrain to find special keys. Something that I really enjoy is that the story, as you progress, goes from childish to real mature. There is a reason why this game has an M here, so... If you are a social justice warrior, I recommend you to stay away from this game, because there are points in its story where it goes real nuts. Perhaps not showing you exactly what happens, but giving serious hints about some things. It's all your fault. It's all your fault! Isara would still be mine if you hadn't shown up! She dumped me because of you! All because of you! God damn it! Shit, shit, shit! It's so... fucking... just... Ugh. This is all your fault, you hear me? Your fault, not mine! You brought this on yourself! Anyways, in order to progress in this game, you create a small army to search into the labyrinth. These puppets have different skills, affinity to weapons, and some other stats to beat the enemies. So, depending from your tactic, you can make puppets to avoid attacks, tank, use magic, dismember the enemies, and so on. That is something that I really like about this game. You can dismember your enemies with gore critical hits, but as well as you can dismember them, depending from your luck and karma, your puppets may be dismembered too. This is a powerful tactic to fight late ending bosses. 90% of the time you are going to be searching around the dungeons to advance within the story. At some point, the story is going to be pretty linear, but at some others, as you approach the mid and ending of the game, you need to search much more, and it may become a bit tedious because the game doesn't really explain a lot of things, so you'll need to go into full explorer mode, sometimes to find a key item, a pact, or something to progress. Now, I would like to say that this video game is an excellent game, but yes, there's a but. A huge bot indeed. And that bot is its crazy difficulty spike. At the end of the game, personally, I didn't really like that, because everything up to that point felt really smooth, as you create more puppets, find much more powerful packs, items, and so on. But the ending boss goes real nuts on you. Your classic first-person dungeon crawler does this kind of things a lot, but once you see that, you prepare yourself for the worst. The issue here is that you don't really pay that much attention to many, many details about the game, reason why many people say that this video game doesn't have much variation, and I agree with that at some point, 
But at the end, in order to progress, you need to create a much more solid team. In other words, the ending is going to become into a farm field. Compared to other video games, Labyrinth of Refrain is much easier, but that ending difficulty spike breaks a certain synergy that the game had up until that point. Either way, if I had to give a qualification to this game, I will say it is a solid 8 out of 10. In a really personal way, I would like to give this game a 9, but I cannot dismiss that ending grindfest. So there you go, that's all you need to know about this game. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Excellent work. Ah, my goodness. Yeah.